So today on the Wiki Handyman, we're going to change the primary drive clutch on this 1997 MXZ670. It's broken, so I'm going to change it with a, a, a new one I got off eBay. So the first step is going to be remove this cover that goes over the belt in both clutches. It's fairly easy, just two tabs, and then it comes right out, just like that. Your next step will be to remove the belt. Um, your sled should have this tool in the toolkit which goes into the secondary clutch like this and you would screw it all the way in and then when it gets all the way in it starts to split apart the two halves of the secondary clutch but another way you could do if your uh, belt is loose enough like mine is <clears throat> you can just take your belt and go over the clutch like this and it comes off Next, there's a little cover down here that you can peel off to access the bolt that holds the primary clutch off. It just comes off like that. Just put it down. Now, the next thing you have to do is remove this bolt in here. On mine, it's 11. It's a. Uh, <clears throat> it's a 13 sixteenths, which would go in there like this. What I do is I use a breaker bar to take it off because it's held on there by um, 74 pounds of torque. So I take a breaker bar. I, <clears throat> normally there would be a special tool that you can put into here to hold the clutch in place, but since mine is broken, I have a little wrench back there to hold it in place so I can uh, undo it. Alright, your next step is to use a clutch puller to pull there, obviously to pop the clutch off the crankshaft because when it's on there it's tight and it will come off by hand. So you just feed that all the way in there and then you start tightening it back in. So now that my clutch puller is fully seated all the way down into the uh, crankshaft, I'm going to use a monkey wrench to undo it. Again, I have to use a wrench back here to hold it in place so it doesn't move. And we'll see if I get the pop up. And it's off. So this is my replacement clutch that I have. It's pretty easy to slip back on. It was so the same way you took it back off. So I got my same bolt. I'm going to slip it back in the hole. Tighten her down. So now we have to torque down our bolt. The manual says 70 foot-pounds, so, but you don't want to start at 70 foot-pounds. You want to start a little bit lower. So for now, I'm going to start at 50 and work my way up to 70. Now I'm going to jump up to 60. And I'm going to finally do 70. Now we're going to put the belt back on. It goes on <clears throat> the same way it came off. Just slip it around the primary clutch. And then like if, you're, if your belt was loose like mine, you can just kind of push it over the secondary one. And there's this little cover. Just slip it back in its hole. <clears throat> and 
And then lastly is your dust shield, which just goes back on the hinges in the front. And then it just clicks in the back. Just like that. And you're good to go. Last thing to do is just start it up and make sure it works properly. All right.